Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. Thank you. I'll take you a second. Right, what I want to talk to you about today are some of the products that, or some of the apps I should say, that I purchase, um, I subscribe to yearly or monthly, um, that I found really helpful. Otherwise, well, otherwise I wouldn't subscribe to them, basically. One of those is Canva. And there are so many more options. And by the way, I'm not selling you any affiliate links or anything like that. Um, you go and have a little search for Canva and all these other apps yourself. Um, I'm, uh, there's no affiliate links for these in, in the descriptions. So, yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, yeah, the reason I like Canva is because, like I say, there's so many more options you can do. There's so many more photographs, images. You know, two pound a week. Um, okay, on top of everything else, it all mounts up. But when you when you're putting out books like I do, when you're uh, publishing all kinds of different books, you know, I, I I got tired of messing about with all the the free bits and bobs, and yeah, fortunately, I could afford that couple of pound a week. Now. One of the big things I like about Canva, other than being able to just um, publish children's books and everything simply, easily, um, low content books and, and uh, pretty much anything really, I like to use fonts, different fonts, fonts that aren't in Canva. So what I do is, I'm also um, a subscriber of Freepik. Now, the reason I'm a subscriber of of free pick is because I don't mind paying for my images and again that's um, roughly about a hundred pound a year again and yes it mounts up these little two pounds and pounds here and pounds there every week they do mount up I have to admit but I'd be lost without these things and yeah there's lots of things you can use um, again I'm, I'm not affiliated but there's lots of things you can um, get for free you can keep, you know, scouring the internet for all kinds of things. I don't like messing about like that. I'm more, um, I'm more industrial than that. I like to, I don't like to mess about. I don't like to waste time. I don't like to look if I can use this or that image or font or whatever else um, without special permission. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't mind paying for these things. So, free pick. That's freepick.com. Um, let me just show you now what I what I do with my fonts and where I get my fonts from. I get I get a lot of them from Freepick, uh, but I get them from anywhere else as well. And I've cleared my fonts in Canva, so I can show you what I do and how I upload new fonts to Canva. So let me just do that now. Right, okay. I can open Freepick or any other anything else. You can download fonts from Google. From lots of places, uh, so you don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you how I do this through um, Freepik, but the the system is still the same, no matter what you no matter what you use, really. So I'm just going to pick fonts from here. And the reason I like this is because I can see how these fonts look in an image. I can scroll through these fonts, and I can see, yeah, that looks good there. Rather than it just being a font like that, I can now look at how I could do something with it. Put a bit of shadow on it, turn it into something different. Yeah, that's quite a nice one. But I'm doing this for an example. So we'll we'll take down the quick brown fox jumps hole with the lazy dice. Looks quite good. So there is how it could look on a certain design. So I download that. I'll use, I'll open the zip file. I'll use the OTF file, which stands for Open Type Font Format. Now I'll use either one of these. All right, I go to Canva. There's the uh, text that I've just put in. All I've done is I've, I've dragged a little text over there so that I can actually change it, show you how it's done. So we'll just close that over, give you a bigger screen. And I'll go to here where, it's, where the font name is, which is Canva Sans for this one. I'll open that. I'll scroll right down to the bottom here. Well, I'll just go to the bottom here, where it says Upload a Font. I'll open the file that I've just downloaded, so I know where it is. 
and please confirm the following by uploading my custom font I acknowledge that I own or have the rights to download to use this font basically and there it is so if I click on that now in the upload fonts there's the font I've just chosen it's a lovely font that's what I like about um, Canva because I can bring in new fonts and I can, I can scroll down this list of fonts on Canva but I'm not getting the font that I want I'm, I'm forever trying this try that whereas if I go to here in free pick I can see what the font looks like before I use it oh that was a nice one back then let me just go back that was a nice one the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog you know what while I'm while I'm here I haven't noticed this one before but it'd make a great um, great one for children's books for instance so I'm just going to click on that I'm going to download that and copy that OTF file and put it into a file of my choice and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger because I want to see what this font looks like um, so you can see it a little bit better and I'm going to go to the list here I'm going to go to upload a font here at the bottom let's have a look yeah I like that I like that a lot what would it look like um, if I put children's book and drop the size down yeah you know that's cool that's one of the reasons I like to use um, Canva and subscribe to Canva because I like to mess about with the fonts I could put font on top of font for that I could blur that out copy it oh, I should have copied it first there's the second one let me just take that effect off and put say this effect on keep the thickness quite wide offset not at all direction not at all color let's have a little blue and I could put that over the top and I've got a really great looking a great looking font there so let's talk further about FreePick the fonts is a new feature in FreePick um, but I really like it let me just go back to the, the home page and we can use photos vectors now vectors that's what it's all about really vectors are scalable you can drag them to almost well, I say almost any size that's the idea of a vector you can scale it whereas if you just get a JPEG uh, JPEG image or a, um, a gif or something else you try to drag that and stretch it it'll become pixelated it become blurred maybe on your page whereas with vectors they're scalable so that you can drag that and it just it looks just the same uh, in any size pretty much uh, that's why I like them so yeah we can use vectors and there's a great selection of vectors especially um, if you're using the pro feature and again I'm not affiliated I have to keep saying this I'm not trying to sell you anything I just like these these apps photographs lots of photographs and more just do a little search you've got templates uh, illustrations um, mock-ups backgrounds text effects you know there's, there's all kinds of things so I do like that and there's also an added feature with free pick you now get flaticon that's included in your subscription and there's loads of icons and all kinds of things that you can use on your um, in your books these, these would make great titles for instance you know these are set there's not a lot really you can do with them they're, they're basically stickers if you like and you can download them and use them however you want um, if I go to more stickers on there let's just have a little look what you'll find with the stickers is they have a little white outline already so if I just click on that you can see the white outline of the sticker so you can use these stickers uh, however you like and it's great to put it's great to have pictures like this on your children's books that stand out that have a bit of shadow behind them and I've done that with one of my books I've created the images the characters in one of my children's books so that they're off the page they have a shadow behind them 
So I really like this. You've got stuff from the authors themselves. Once you've found something decent, you can actually go to their page. There's millions and millions of uh, things to choose from on here. Interface icons, just like your um, emoji type things. But these are great. These are great. I use them quite often. You can create a logo and mess about with that. So, yeah, it's all good. Right, so that's Canva and FreePick we've talked about there, which I subscribe to. And I use uh, Grammarly. Now, Grammarly uh, is a fantastic app. I use it for everything. I use it in my uh, posts, comments, in social media. It just it just gets in there and starts, you know, giving me some ideas for correcting some text, text getting some grammar correct. Um, I use it. It's the Microsoft Word. It, it, it sort of works in conjunction with that. And, uh, yeah, I'll put a link there. I've already done a video on Grammarly and what I think about it. And, yeah, I subscribe to that. About, same again, about £100 a year, uh, give or take. Uh, so it's another £2, basically, a week. So yeah, that's six I'm up to there. And what else do I have? I use Microsoft Office 365. Now, I've always used a cheap version of Word. You know, I've sort of downloaded one or got one free or somebody's passed me a copy. And and the same with Excel. They're the only two things that I've basically used with uh, with Office. Uh, I love working with Excel and Word and all my books I create in Word. And when I send my manuscript to um, proofreaders or copy editors, I do it in Word. They find it easier. Or they might ask for a PDF so I can change the, the Word document into a PDF for them. So, uh, and still have the original. So, why did I go with Word and Excel? Why did I purchase the subscription? Why did I um, choose that route than, than just buying the cheap version for a tenner or getting a free version or whatever? Well, I was using Google Drive and I was paying about £7 a month for one terabyte of uh, cloud space. And I was thinking, oh, you know, I don't really need this. I did it for when I was going on an adventure, so I could just upload things all the time while I was away. And I kept it. But like I say, it was basically £7 a month. And then I noticed there was an offer from um, Microsoft to say that I could have Office 365 for £5.99 a month. And with that... I would get one terabyte on their OneDrive, on their cloud space. So straight away, I'm a, I'm a pound cheaper. And um, I've got my terabyte of space. Plus, I've got the full um, Microsoft Office 365, which gets updated all the time on my computer. So basically, um, it was thrown in for a pound cheaper of, um, of uh, cloud space, cloud storage with OneDrive. I couldn't knock that back, and um, yeah, it's a great way to go. Um, I did once subscribe to um, Creative Fabrica, but I found myself not really using it very much. So for the sake of the £10 a month that I was paying for that, I just cancelled that uh, that subscription. I've dabbled with a few other things, uh, Vecteasy, and now I don't subscribe to that anymore. I just use FreePick. Um, that's in subscription base. I use all kinds of other things as well that are free, but I'm just talking about what I subscribe to here. So, yeah, um, I hope all that helps, gives you an idea of why I use these things. And um, don't be afraid to subscribe. If you can afford a little bit, it's not wrong to subscribe. You don't have to get everything for free and then spend forever trying to, trying to work things out. If you can't afford it, I completely understand. Because I started... Um, using as much free stuff as I could. I still use as much free stuff um, as I can. But, um, yeah, there's just certain apps that, for my benefit, for productivity, I will um, subscribe. I will take on the premium features uh, because it's worth it. And like I say, I'm not selling you anything here. I might be talking good about certain things. Um but I'm not, send, I'm not putting an affiliate link in my description for you. You just have to type it in in Google and then go from there. Super. 
I hope that helps.